Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have, can you even believe it, a monthly favorites video for you because we're already at the end of January. How did that even happen? I don't actually know, but here we are. I'll be completely honest with you. Most of the stuff I have as favorites this month are Christmas presents that I got last month, obviously, and have been using and loving and enjoying actually having in my life for the month of January. So I have no particular categories or anything. It's just kind of a whole lot of really awesome, really fun randomness. So let's go ahead and jump right in with this month's favorites. The first thing was actually a Christmas present to myself, and that was a new pair of super comfortable, fuzzy, warm slippers or house shoes, whatever you want to call them. I am a huge, huge fan of slippers with the hard soles on the bottom because they feel a little bit supportive. They're a little bit more comfortable for my very, very particular feet. And I love, love, love the pair that I happened to pick up on Amazon.com for $22. Oh yes, they're not even expensive slippers and they are the bomb.com. These are by Home Ideas. It is their faux fur lined suede, I think house slipper. They come in a couple different colors. They run true to size. These are a size nine and I'm typically somewhere between a nine, nine and a half. So they run true to size. They are cushy in the bottom. They're really, really warm and I love the hard sole. So like I can wander down to the mailbox or something like that. They're just, they're lovely. I'm obsessed with them and I wear slippers like this more than I wear any other type of shoe. If I'm at home, odds are I'm running around in these because I don't really like to run around in bare feet or even socked feet. I like to have something solid on the bottom of my feet just for support and trip prevention and all that stuff. But I also don't like to run around in my gym shoes or in my braces all the time. So these are the perfect compromise and they keep my feet super duper warm. They're really cute and like I said, $22. You can't beat it. Now I gotta put him back on to finish this video. Don't want my feet to freeze. All right, so that didn't seem like such a random item, but my next item certainly will, and that is this. This is the Lamical adjustable cell phone stand. And I asked for it for Christmas as like a stocking stuffer thing because my mother-in-law always wants stocking stuffer ideas. And I'm like, well, I've been kind of eyeballing getting myself this. So I got this for Christmas and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's great. It's been living on my desk and my cell phone just fits in here really sturdily. It's awesome. Even with the pop socket on it, it sits really sturdily. You can do it this way as well. My iPad also fits on here really nicely. And then in the back, you can actually string your charger through here. So it comes up and clicks in so you can be charging your phone while it's sitting on the dock. It just, it looks really nice. It's very easy to like, oh, I can see my phone if like notifications come up or whatever. And I'm just, I don't know why I love it so much, but it, I really, really do. It's also great in the kitchen to like keep it on the counter so you don't have your electronics on the counter when you're say chopping vegetables or cooking chicken or doing something that might get your device messy. This is just enough to keep it up and away from the mess while you're in the kitchen. And it's, I don't know, it's amazing. And it's like $12 or $13. It was fantastic. I'm highly considering getting another one to keep in the kitchen. So like I can have it plugged in and like, instead of, you know, hauling this around, have one in a couple areas of the house. So, so cool. Depending on the angle you like things, it does adjust, like it, it adjusts. It adjusts all the way, all the way. Look at that. So, I don't know, really fun, really random thing. Does come in a couple of colors. The silver one I like the best because I'm a big fan of silver, amazon.com. This might win for the ultimate, ultimate random item. And it is this. This, my friends, I did in fact ask for as another, well, I'm considering buying this for myself, so if you really want a stocking stuffer idea, here you go type item. And this is a head scrubber. It is a silicone head scrubber. I don't know if you can see, see how they're like spiky little guys here? What it's supposed to do is really help you get in there and scrub a dub a dub all the shampoo into your scalp. And well, it seems like such an odd thing to want. I want it because especially this time of year, like true story, I have such a dry and flaky scalp that I get all the scalp things. You guys know this. I favorited some shampoos and conditioners and stuff in recent pasts. Um, and 
So in order to use those appropriately, you really want to use your fingers to get the shampoo or the treatment or whatever into your scalp, really get it rubbed in there. I don't have the finger strength to do that. So I needed something that could maybe potentially aid me in that. Enter this goofy little purple device. Now, of course, my mother-in-law got me the purple one because purple's my favorite color, but I, re I just, I love it. It slips on your hand real easily, and then I can use the rest of my arm muscles and just push down as I'm circling around and getting all that shampoo all up in all the places, making sure that it's really, really in there and attached to my scalp so it can appropriately treat my scalp. Added bonus, it feels really, really nice to get, give yourself a little bit of a scalp massage while you're taking a shower. Super, super nice. The silicone means that it's not gonna harbor any bacteria or anything like that. It's super easy to clean, super easy to rinse off, and I'm pretty sure it was like $7.99 or something ridiculously inexpensive like that. It's, it, it is something, is it something you need? No. Is it something that I'm really appreciative that I have? 110%. I love it. I use it every single time I'm in the shower. Shampoo, conditioner. It just, it feels a little bit luxurious mixed with a little bit functional and just makes me actually feel like I'm really truly cleaning my scalp because it gets all up in there. Love this thing. Let's talk about my one beauty item and it is an item that I hate that I'm favoriting. And I get a lot of those, don't I? I don't know if you guys actually want to see the things and I'm like, Ugh, I hate that this is a favorite of mine, but it really is. Because it means that it's legit. It's one of those things I didn't want to love because of the price point or because of the hype, but then I tried it and I actually do. And this is one of those things. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick in Bond Gal. It is what is on my lips right now. And these went wild for a while. I've been hearing about them for quite some time. I think like Kim Kardashian has a specific shade or something. And I'm like, I'm never gonna pay this much money for a lipstick, ever. Why would anyone do that? It's a $34 lipstick. Well, well, well. For the holiday season, Sephora Favorites releases a bunch of their kits, right? And one of their kits is always this gigantic, like, give me some lip, I think it's called, kit. And it's like, 60 or 70 dollars and you get a whole bunch of trial size lip products as well as a couple full-size lip products well the full-size lip product of one of five full-size lip products in this year's release was a charlotte tilbury lipstick and the day that i hopped online to look for this lip kit and consider buying it because i found out about this lipstick it was on sale for 47 dollars this full-size lipstick retails for $34, and I got the entire kit of 10 different products, five of which were full-size, for $47. I could not pass it up, so I didn't. And alas, this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick entered into my life, and it's a really good lipstick. It is what's on my mouth today, and it is a matte lipstick that feels nice. Like, it actually feels good, and it doesn't feel drying, and ah, uh, Like, the stuff that dreams are made of, I can't even explain it to you. Now, it's not entirely transfer-proof. It's more transfer-proof than I thought it would be, quite frankly. But it is not entirely transfer-proof, but that's okay. I, I can't stand that I love this thing so, so very much. And it's not just that I love it. I get so many compliments on my lipstick when I wear this color out. I I, I can't even tell you. I'm just, I'm, oh, it's such a good lipstick. The way it's shaped, I don't know if you can see in the, uh, like, kind of very squared off shape, it actually really lets you, like, get into your Cupid's bow and make sure everything is on the way you want it to be. It's just, I hate to say it, but I'm going to be buying a more everyday color of this lipstick because it's just that good. So if you were looking for a matte lipstick that's actually a nice matte lipstick, this is the one you want. Back to what I got for Christmas that I am loving. Da, 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 da. This is a Contigo coffee travel mug and I'm, I, I love this thing. I love it. Now, we have had these in our lives for a long time. I never thought 
to favorite it or anything because I was like, oh, it's a coffee mug that I only kind of use sometimes. And then I started using it more and more and more. And then we might have broken a lid and lost one of them and whatnot. And so all of a sudden we didn't have enough for my husband and I to both be using these. I typically use this when I'm at church on Sunday mornings or when I'm going somewhere early in the morning. And all of a sudden I didn't have the ability to use one of these anymore. And I realized how much I missed it. And I was like, well, shoot, we're going to have to buy more Contigo mugs because I actually really loved my Contigo mug. So we asked for them for Christmas. And my mother-in-law, in all of her brilliance, bought me a purple one, which guarantees my husband will not use it. So it is mine to lose. It is mine to not lose. And it's beautiful. This is, I think, the if I had to guess, this is the matte purple. It comes in a bunch of different colors online, and it's $17. Now, the cool feature of these things is it is spill-proof. So, you can, there's nothing in here right now, so me doing this doesn't really mean anything, but if you put the lid on correctly, it seals very nicely, and before I leave, I always take it over the sink and make sure that it's completely sealed. And then you push this button right here to make the lid over here open. It's a little bit inconvenient for me with my weaker fingers, but it is secure enough where I, I pay the price for it because I like the fact that it's not just gonna tip over. And then this particular one has a feature that my old one didn't have and it is a lock button. So you can click the lock button and then this button will not press. So if I throw this in my purse or something, I can lock it for some added security that I won't accidentally bump it and open it and have it spill everywhere. It keeps my coffee hot for a very, very long time. I've never been able to time it because I consume my coffee before it has worn out in its heat, but not too long ago, I took this on an adventure with me out to the mall and I left it in my five degrees outside and no, I'm not exaggerating car for half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever it was, and I came back the entire outside was freezing cold, and I was like, oh no, oh no, and I took a sip of my coffee, which was still warm. So if you like keeping your cold beverages cold, your hot beverages hot, this is a great, well-insulated, fully functional coffee mug that is not all that expensive at all, very budget-friendly, and it comes in beautiful, beautiful colors like this gorgeous purple. So this has been one of my favorite things to use since we got these, and it's wonderful, and I'm so happy I have it back in my life. Mwah. My next favorite is something that I've been hemming and hawing about talking about for a while, but I have recently had interactions with it that were so positive that made me go, yes, actually, this thing is a necessity in my life and it's time that I tell people about it. You guys remember when I started talking about, and I didn't talk about it much, but I mentioned that I'm dabbling in CBD oil, using CBD oil especially for my insomnia issues. So I use this, this is by Green Roads. It is a specific brand of CBD oil that a friend of my mother-in-law's use or cells uses whatever I'm not quite sure I get it through her and this is the specifically the turpins and these are the blueberry ones and they have different turpins which are like apparent I don't know all the science behind it it takes elements of a specific plant and then it ends up tasting like the thing and there's CBD oil in here for those of you that don't know CBD is one of the chemical components of hemp or marijuana and it is the non psychoactive part but very very health beneficial part. So this does not have any of like the I'm going to get high stuff in it, but it is just the beneficial part of marijuana. Unless of course you think that getting high is one of the beneficial parts. But for me, that's not the case. I was very hesitant to try CBD oil because I'm like, I don't want to take something that's going to make me feel high. I don't want to do that. So, and this, this doesn't, this doesn't do that. But this particular one, the blueberry turpins is perfect for insomnia. And it's one of those items where I did not realize how well it was working until I didn't have it anymore. So this is, I kid you not, probably my fifth bottle. I never ever want to be without this stuff ever because I noticed it was one of those things where like, I've been taking it regularly before bed and then you go to bed, whatever, it's fine. And I've been sleeping really well generally since I had my insomnia issues and went to the doctor. I've been doing much, much better. And then I ran out and I was like, oh, I don't really want to order anymore, blah, 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 blah. And so I went for a while without it and I've been sleeping really poorly. And like on day three or four of not getting a good night's sleep, I was like, what? 
what is the problem? Why did I revert back to my old issues? And I realized this was the missing element right here, this little guy. All you do is you take three drops of it under your tongue at night. I take it like as I'm getting ready for bed and it doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes like blueberries, which is awesome. And that's it. All you do is you drop, drop, drop underneath your tongue, let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds and you swallow it. And guys, it solves my insomnia problems. I no longer take Benadryl. I no longer take melatonin supplements. Yeah, I've been taking melatonin supplements for ages. Instead, my nighttime drug routine, if you will, is two capsules of magnesium citrate, which is the same supplement that is in the natural calm that I talked about before. So I take that in pill form just because I don't have to drink it and like make it. I can just pop two pills and be done with it. It's almost the same dosage too. And then this, and I've been sleeping. Hallelujah, the angels should sing because this little bottle is what did it. I can't, I can never be without this stuff ever, ever, ever. And I will have this linked down below for you. It is like, 37 or $38, but the bottle lasts me. I don't remember exactly how long. I think at least a month, maybe closer to a month and a half, two months. Worth it. 100% worth it, in my honest to goodness opinion. This was a Christmas present, and I'm obsessed with them. These are my Rose Gold Beats Solo 3 headphones. They're wonderful. They're wireless. They're cute and they are the only thing that I really like truly wanted for Christmas was something like this. They are surprisingly not noise canceling headphones, but it doesn't matter. Like we were like, oh, should we return them? Cause they're not actually noise canceling. But then I started using them and I would notice people were talking to me and I couldn't hear them anyway. So I was like, you know what? They cancel noise enough on their own without a noise canceling ability. So why pay more money for noise canceling ones when these do a fine job? They are comfortable. They connect to everything with Bluetooth connections super easily. The sound quality is wonderful and it really does block things out. I really wanted these for two different reasons. One is I like to listen to podcasts and audiobooks, especially while I am cleaning and doing things around the house. And rather than having to drag a portable speaker around or be wired to my phone and have my phone in my pocket, I can put my phone in a centralized location, wear these and go all over the house and not have to worry about it. And I can listen to my podcast or my book or whatever, my music, whatever it is I'm listening to, which is wonderful. And then the second reason I wanted them was because I wanted to be able to create my own little focus bubble while I'm sitting at the computer writing a blog post or doing some work of some kind. Even though I work from home and create my own environment and don't necessarily have anything distracting me, there's something about my lack of ability to focus that I'm like, I really need to be able to tune out everything. I need to be able to tune out Gracie tapping around on the floor as she moves from bed to bed, or if my husband happens to be home, whatever he's doing out in the other room. I need to be able to tune all those things out and zero in. So I put these on and then I use an app like the background cafe noises or some classical or brain focused type music so I can kind of create a zone and just zone in on what I want to do, get really focused, and then when I'm done I can take the headphones off and it's a glorious, glorious day. What's really cool about them is they have a really long charge time for, for one, it's like 40 hours of listen time or something per charge and you can fold them up and they come in this nifty carrying case and you, which is, it, it feels like it's bulky but it's not all that bad because it comes with a little clip and you can just clip it onto your bag instead of trying to find room in a bag which is awesome and these are just, they're pricey but oh my goodness, they are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful headphones. So if you're looking for a little something special and willing to invest, this is an excellent, excellent product to invest in. And my last favorite, random favorite, Christmas gift favorite, but amazing favorite. This is a gift from my husband's grandmother to me for Christmas. It is an electric foot warmer. Guys, an electric blanket for my feet. Never in my life have I needed something so badly and I didn't know it existed. I never thought to look for something like this, but it is wonderful. It's basically a little miniature electric blanket and it comes with a little pocket sewn in so you can stick your feet into the heated area. It is 
brilliant, the coolest thing. And I have been using it since I got home from Florida. It lives in my bed and I turn it on and I can slip my feet in and I no longer need to sleep with socks on, which is wonderful. And it's just so comfortable and so warm and cozy. And especially now that it's like negative degrees outside, it is wonderful. Once my legs start to freeze, it takes so much effort, so much effort. I can't even tell you to get them warm again. And this thing has been a godsend and a lifesaver. Like I can't even tell you. So this electric, electric foot warmer, who knew? But it is one of my favorite things ever. Thank you, thank you, grandmother, for thinking of me and knowing me so well and getting me an electric foot warmer because it's something I never knew I needed in my life and now I love it. And there you go. Those are all my favorites for the month of January. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites were for the month or anything you might have gotten for Christmas that might be a little bit exciting. As usual, links to everything will be in the description box below, so don't forget to go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Take care, and I'll see you in February.